Hey guys, just want to let you know in case you haven't noticed already, um, I won't have any music in the videos just due to copyrights. I will have the instructions of the movements that we're doing um, so you can see that. So feel free to put any music that you want over this video or your headphones or whatnot. Alright guys, um, we just finished the workout. So make sure um, you cool down, you stretch, you follow these stretches. Watch this video after every workout, even if you don't do one of our workouts. Um, and you just go for a run or a light jog um, or a long walk or a hike. This is something to cool down the body. Even if you want to do this before you go to sleep, it's, it's a pretty good habit um, just so your body is rested and, you know, avoid any injuries after that. So we're going to start off um, with our cat cow stretch. Um, one last thing to remember, I usually do these without my shoes on. Um, just allows a little bit more flexibility around the ankles and that foot area. So. Let's start off. Um, most of these we're going to do for time. So we're going to do the cat-cow stretch, um, a little bit controlled. Let's do this for about 30 seconds. So again, we're going to arch our shoulders over our neck. And then depress the lower back. And then continue. Okay, do it at your own pace. We're going to do this for about 30 more seconds. Okay, great. Um, from this position, we're going to do um, the same motion, but we're going to arch our shoulders over and then we're going to bring our glutes back to our heel. Make sure you're looking down the entire way and we're going to stretch. And hold for 30 seconds. Okay, let's bring it back slowly. I'm going to turn and face you just so you can see the angle of this next one. So again, same position. Um, we're just going to shift our body to our left side. Then we're going to arch the shoulders and then we're going to drop our heels. I'm yeah, sorry, we're going to drop our glutes to our heels. We're going to hold for 30 seconds. Okay, let's bring it back. Okay, we're gonna bring it to the right side. Bring the shoulders up. And let's drop our glutes to our heel. 30 seconds again. Okay, bring it back slowly. And then back this way. Okay. Great, just relax. Stretch out the legs. I'm gonna continue stretching. Just relax. Okay, so now we're gonna just go with the regular routine of stretches. 
So make sure that you have some type of drink around you just so that we're cooling down, that we're hydrating. Um, I have a chocolate protein shake. But um, the first one we're going to do is we're going to bring from this position, let's bring our leg forward here. Let's bring this leg behind us. And then with our chest, let's try to lean over that knee. Okay? So you should feel that stretch kind of in like that inner thigh area. So you're just going to hold for about 20 seconds. Okay, let's switch legs. So again, now this leg comes behind us. This leg comes to that knee. And then our chest goes over this leg. You should feel that again in that inner thigh. Sometimes you feel it on that outside thigh too. If you don't feel it, we have to lean our torso towards that knee a little bit more. Set. This is going to be our reset position here. Okay, so the next one we're going to do is we're going to do, we used to call this in Hollywood in high school. We used to come across here, bring your leg across, and then so right leg across your left, and then now left shoulder across your right knee. Okay, so you should feel that right here on that outside part of your thighs, that high glute area. I'm going to hold for 30 seconds. Okay, we're going to switch. So again, bring that left leg over the right. Uh, another variation you could do too before you turn over, if you're a little bit more flexible, you could bring this straight leg behind here, and then bring your right shoulder across your left knee. Might feel like a pretzel. Okay, I'm gonna go hold for 30 seconds again. Okay, let's come back across, straighten that leg out, reset position. Okay, so from here, we're going to bring straight legs. Let's bring our left heel in and let's try to stretch, reach as far as we can. If you can't reach your toes, try to reach as far as you can regardless. And we're just going to hold that position. Try to keep your legs straight. You're going to hold for 20 seconds. Take okay, this switch. Okay, let's stretch. So this is called the figure four stretch. We have a figure four here. And then in the comments, you could, um, if there's a stretch that you're not feeling, uh, make sure to please write it on the comments. I could be a little bit more detailed and um, let you um, know how we could fix that. Okay, great. So we kind of opened up that area a little bit. Um, for some of my athletes, 
a little bit more flexible. We're gonna do the L7 stretch. So right here, we're gonna open up, have our legs straight, kind of like how we did, but now instead of having it inside this way, we're gonna have it outside and then bring it back. We're gonna make sure that you're sitting upright on your heel. Okay, I don't want you guys leaning off to the side. Make sure that you're upright. You should feel that out here. Okay, we're gonna switch it. So straight leg, bring that knee back. And then let's sit upright. So again, like I said, if you don't work out, um, you know, doesn't necessarily mean that you can't do this video. You can do this video every day actually to increase your flexibility and your mobility area around your legs, your groin, your back and whatnot. Remember, if you don't use it, you lose it. So I want to make sure that you're consistent with this. If you're feeling tight, if you're feeling fatigued, sore, um, this stretch routine always helps. Okay, let's bring that leg back. We're going to do butterflies. So again, we're going to bring our feet together. Let's try to bring our heels inside. And with our elbows, what I like doing sometimes is pushing out. So not just sitting here, but pushing out with your elbows. And you can feel that a little bit more. I'm going to hold for 30 seconds. Okay, let's relax. Okay, from here, we're going to go to crisscross, apple sauce here, we're going to cross our legs, and then lean forward once we cross. You're going to hold for 30 seconds. Okay, great. All right, in this position, we're gonna start stretching our, our quads a little bit more. Okay, so what we're gonna do, it's almost like the very first stretch where we brought it inside and back, but this time, we're gonna lean away from that knee that's kind of angular to us. So I'm gonna make sure that we're leaning back and you should feel stretched here. I'm gonna hold this for 30 seconds. Here we're going to switch. So again, reset, back to that position, and then lean back. Okay. 30 seconds again. And some people have asked me what these sleeves are, and that's what they are, they're calf sleeves. They promote compression to the soleus and the gastrocnemius muscles of the calf area, also a little bit to the Achilles, but not so much. So I've always had issues with um, tight calves. Um, so this helps me in the morning. It keeps them a little bit more constricted. So when I'm running or exercising or using stairs, um, you know, it's not irritating or causing pain. So it does help. So if you have some tight calves, besides stretching them, sometimes, um, you know, items like these do help. So like I said, if you have any questions about stuff like that, um, make sure you comment and then I'll try to give you some tips. There's also one for your quads, for your knee, 
for your arches and your feet. Um, if you have any questions how to treat any areas, um, let me know and I'll try to answer your question with the video. Or if not, um, just write a comment. So, okay. So this one is just going to be a change of um, that similar position. So again, bringing that leg here. But this time we're going to bring at our heel over our knee. And then we're going to lean back. If you can, you can lean all the way back to the floor. I'm going to hold this for 30 seconds. Just make sure you don't fall asleep. Okay, now we're going to switch. So from this lane position, you can actually switch. Just bring that heel over your knee. We're going to hold for 30 seconds. Okay, let's bring it back. Let's reset. Then for this one, it's going to be for our hamstrings. We're almost done. Okay, so what we're going to do is bring your knees inside. And then now what we're going to do is let's bring our hips closer to our feet. And then with our right foot, let's bring our right foot over that left knee. And we're just going to bring, if we can, let's bring our chest close to that right knee. And we should feel a stretch right here on our hamstring. So you're gonna hold that for 30 seconds. You won't feel it so much if your glutes are far away from your left foot. If you're back here, you're not gonna feel it as much. So make sure that you're forward. Uh, make sure that you're bringing your chest to your knee. And if you could bring your hips off the ground, that'd be great too. Make sure you're taking deep breaths with all of these. Okay, we're gonna switch. So drop that. Bring that left heel over that right knee. I'll show you how it looks from the side. Continue stretching. So, they like said your heel shouldn't be too far. And make sure that your hips are off the ground. Okay, great. Let's reset. Okay, so the last one we're going to do is going to be a stretch for our arches and then for our hamstrings as well. So for our arches, let's just try to stand up and then let's try to scrunch our feet, our toes on the floor. So almost like if you're trying to grip the floor, release. We're going to do 15 of those. If you could even do it better by not moving your toes and just kind of moving that middle torso area of your foot. So just arching at the center without gripping with your toes, that could be even better. Okay, great. All right. Last one, we're going to stretch our hamstrings. So what we're going to do here is we're going to lean down to the floor. You can bend your knees. So bend your knees, place your hands flat on the floor. Let's lift our heels off the ground so that they're flat on the floor. For this one, your hands must be flat on the floor the whole time. If you get them off the floor, um, you defeat the purpose of the stretch a little bit. So, okay, once we're there, remember your knees could be bent, your heels off the ground. Let's drop our heels, let's feel a little bit more of a stretch, and then let's start opening up our hamstrings. So let's try to stretch our hamstrings out, 
but make sure your hands are flat on the floor, okay? So keep your hands flat on the floor. I don't want just your toes, I mean your, your fingertips touching it, it must be your hands, your palms flat on the floor. And continue to stretch out your, your legs, make sure that knee's opening up slowly. Start, start getting a little warmer. It might feel a little bit painful, but that's actually a stretch. So, right? The more we're holding it, the more we're able to open up our legs. Open up that knee. Continue to stretch. Continue to hold it. Keep those hands flat. Don't look around, just look down to your feet. Look at your knees. Continue to stretch those knees. Keep your hands flat. All right, try to stretch as much as you can while keeping your hands flat. It should be stretched out more than what you started. All right, slowly come back up, slowly, slowly, slowly. Just bring your hands up your legs. Okay, and we're good. All right, good job, good cool down. Uh, make sure you hydrate and rest up, and I'll see you in the next video.